How would you like to be remembered? <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to be remembered for a man that's fallen enough, fortunate enough to get in a, to a coracle on the river roading on a stormy day. <laughs> it's like the greatest day of my life. <laughs> okay, can you give me a clap, Sean? And again, the one? Brilliant. So, <laughs> that's the clap sync that I will include in the video because um, I'm using this and my. And my action camera, and you, there's a couple of things. A, you might be thinking, why haven't you got a microphone in your action camera? There's a reason I need to seal my action camera so it doesn't leak water. Firstly, this is Sean, who hopefully you know, got water on the lens. Hopefully you watch Sean's channel. I'm waving the uh, microphone around. Hopefully you watch Sean's channel. Sean's allotment garden. Is it No, that? it's just called Sean James Cameron. You spelled keep... S-E-A-N. Sean changes his channel name more than some people change their socks. But wait, that's not what we're... This is about an adventure. Uh, I'm going on that Sean is going to help document there'll probably be a video on Sean's channel as well which we will link to below if it's out yeah. uh, if not we'll put the link up another time and this is a real adventure it's absolutely pilling down with rain and we're going to go and find a very special person in a very special location on a very special river yes we're back on the rivers it was only last week when I, or the week before last I was on a river in so fact, that's um, in fact you might be you might be in the river wait right. and see so here's the river roading. It is lashing down with rain. And I'm sure many of you remember Paul Powsland, the brilliant Paul Powsland. We're going to Paul's uh, mooring up here, but not to meet Paul. Actually, this is a good example of how well hidden Paul's mooring actually is, because I think it's somewhere down in those reeds. You can't see it, can you? I know the marker for it, but... So, Sean's sure, sure, just shot a video for his channel. Actually, we're at the mooring, but so we'll do this quickly. Where he tells the story. But what I'm going to be doing today, and you don't know yet, but it actually, because telling the story will reveal what we're doing, won't it? If it happens. If it happens. Um, it might not happen. About six weeks ago, Sean's remembered the, the time. Somebody posted, well, not somebody, Paul Powsman posted a, a photograph on, on Twitter of him floating in a coracle on the River Roding. And Sean here said on Twitter, replied to that and said, I'd love to see John Rogers yeah. in that coracle. And then just... And then I think I said, I would like to see that too. And then... And then just forgot about it. And then it. I got a DM from the guy who built the coracle saying, great, when do you want to do it? So that's what... And you said, let's find the rainiest, stormiest day in London no, no, and we'll no, do it there. I picked that deliberately. <laughs> so, but that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be in a coracle on the river roading we'll learn more about that in a minute but because it's not just any old coracle this is a work of art this is a, this is a sculpture i didn't really look up the details of this until just before i left today and uh, hence i've been on my action camera in the rain sean's come to do a bit of drone for well i don't know can well, you fly you can't fly a drone in this can no, you no, no that's not going to happen so let's see we're at paul powsland's um mooring here river roading moorings and we're going to try and find uh, Ryan, who is the artist in charge of the coracle, but let's see how we can get on. So this is, look, this is the entrance to Paul's secret world that he's created here on the banks of the River Roading. I'll link below to the video I made here with Paul in 2021, I think it was. But it's an amazing little secret world. Look, at this plank walk, there's sheds, I think there's a hot tub here. Look, there's a whole, there's a, there's a buffet, there's birds. There's, there's all sorts of things going on here. Look, there's a sofas, fire pit. I think there's a, like I said, they've got a hot tub, but what, I, what we're looking for is a, is a coracle. Oh, here we go. I think that's Ryan down there. Ryan! Sorry, I'm, I'm inevitably I'm filming, but hang on, I'll put this away and say a proper... Yep. Um, so I'm over the moon to be here with the coracle creator, Ryan Powell. Hello. Who's responsible for us coming out in the dry weather. Ryan's yep. not actually responsible for the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he may look like a kind of godlike character. But Ryan, I want to hear more about your project because I only really properly read up on it today. I knew it's connected to Paul Powsland, who I know to be a real amazing character and a person who has a deep love of this river so could you tell me a little bit more about your your project please? yeah so yeah it's um the project's known as the uh, sensory deprivation no sorry sensory attunement coracle uh it was originally called the deprivation coracle but um i changed that so that it didn't have any connotations with uh, torture um <laughs> it's a relief right yeah, yeah. <laughs> it should be a pleasant experience um but yeah no sensory attunement coracle 
Um, it's the idea behind it is that it's a kind of ritual object, um, and that a person gets inside and is pushed out onto the water in a sort of offering to the river. Uh, and then the tidal forces will pull them upstream. And then as the tide changes, the ebb will bring them down on the, uh, the flow of the river. Um, and it's kind of a, a chance for a person to tune into the river, tune into the, the, the wider forces that are moving them, um, the sounds of the river, you know, the mixture of both natural and man-made sounds. You'll hear a lot of trains, a lot of uh, cars going over on the uh, North Circular. Um, and yeah, it's really just about kind of tuning into the natural world and yeah, giving attention to to um, to the River Roding, which is a river which is um, quite neglected, not super well known. Um, and yeah, which is why I think yeah, the River Roding Trust and Paul Palsland have been yeah very very supportive of the project um, and yeah, facilitated having it on this uh, this dock, which is kind of yeah allowed it to uh, to exist really i am finally going to be an offering to the river god of the river roading i'm always going on about river gods this is testing my commitment that i am now being offered to the river god of the roading i don't know if roading is a character in the ben Ar aronovich novels mm. i think he i think roading might be because it would be a female deity because we're in the tidal thames but i don't know who roading is uh, people in the comments rather than me spoil it can you tell me? Remind me, Roding is. I mean, Roding is a major character. Should Ben? What's going on with that? Eh? What's what have you got against us? So um, I realised I got the timing of the tides all wrong. So we can't go out until the tide, just before the turning of the tide. So I go up the river as the tide is just still coming in before it turns, and then it's the tide that will bring me back to the mooring. So uh, we've got to wait about two hours. <laughs> so I drag Sean out in the rain. He's up there doing his own bit of filming for no reason, really. So um, we're going to go for a cup of tea and maybe the rain will have abated slightly by the time we get back. So we've been sat in Tesco's embarking for the last two hours and now the tide is ready for us. But there's still, look, it's still absolutely lashing down. Beautiful. It's beautiful. But beautiful I just, before I get in this structure, this amazing craft, look like a little kind of wicker spaceship. I just wanted to, Ryan, if you could tell me a little bit about coracles, where they come from, um, and a bit about how you built the coracle. So a coracle is, is, is one of the oldest forms of boat around. You can find examples of them all around the world. Um, it's basically a big basket that um, is sort of big enough to um, displace the, enough water for a human to get inside and float. Um, but there's examples of coracle building in the UK going back to the Bronze Age um, and probably would have gone back even further than then. Um, sort of living traditions of coracles exist in, uh, on the River Severn, up in uh, Shrewsbury and around Ironbridge, uh, also in parts of Wales. Um, but the type of coracle that this is, oh, you've got a lot of ducks, is, uh, it's, it's, it's actually an Irish uh, design uh, from the River Boyne, uh, and the Irish word for coracle is curragh. Um, so this is uh, actually the sensory attunement curragh, technically. Um, and it's made from hazel, um, uh, that was cut from just over there, uh, which is woven in a very particular way into a, the shape of a huge basket, covered in uh, cotton cloth, which is then tarred. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the top is made from reeds, also cut from uh, cut from the banks of the river. Cool. And we're, um, we're about to sail with the tide. Can you tell me a little bit how I the process? What's going to happen? Uh, how I get. Actually, how I get in and how... Because I got the, the coracle is down there and I've got to get in it. We've got to launch it. And then I've got... A, and then I'm going to be carried on the tide. And if I don't get found here, I might get found somewhere in, in the Netherlands, maybe. But <laughs> what's... How do I get... How do I get back? Um, yeah, so, yeah, the tide is going to carry you upstream. It's very strong here, the tide. Um, so it's going to carry you upstream. Um, you just got to lie there and relax. I'm hoping you don't get too damp. You probably will get a bit damp. It's not really waterproof, um, but hopefully you'll still be a bit quite cozy in there. Um, and yeah, you just got to lay back and let the tides do what it's going to do. Um, eventually the tide will turn and it'll bring you back down here. Um, yeah, you'll have a paddle in there with you, um, which I'll show you, give you a little lesson of how to use. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is. I am going up the creek with a paddle. I love that. It eventually bring you back. 
I have this vision. It will, I've done it. It's, yeah. it's, it's not, I'm, not, I'm not putting you out there totally blind. Yeah. I, do, I, do, I do feel fairly secure that you will come back. Um. <laughs> Physically. But maybe this will be my heart. Oh, of, be this gone. will be my heart yeah. of darkness. I have this image of the coracle coming back without me in it, just com- uh, intact, but no me. I'll have transcended. Hopefully, I'll end up back in the Bronze Age. Maybe yeah. I think I, I think I'd fare Could very badly right? in the Bronze oh, Age. Okay. No, I think I don't think it very well, but I'd like it for a bit, mm. like an hour or two. Is it what time? Is it nearly launch time? This is this is exciting because it wants to. Yeah, I think let's get you in there. Oh, going in. They put little cushions and rugs And look, in Paul Powson's come here. Hi. Who, viewers will now be familiar by this point who Paul is because you'll have seen extracts from the uh, original. What, but... I wonder a few people who've been allowed to co-star in your videos. Yeah. <laughs> and you come, to bl- you come to bless the voyage. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just watch it on film. Any, anything to do with the roading and I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> There's something under my feet if I go down here. Uh, yes. Well, the raft is not the best. Yeah. <laughs> the raft is not. It's, it's... Thanks, Paul. Now I'm going to get in the raft. In the coracle. Yeah. You basically have to go for it. Like it's a bit You've got to kind of just fall forward, forward yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Or I have to jump into it. You've got to fall forward inside, yeah. Okay. When I die, you've got to do that. So what do I do? Just jump. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, carefully come over. All right. Well, then carefully come over, okay. It's solid enough for you to kind of just sort of walk forward. Oh, oh really? Like, What's your name, sir? Yeah. Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm digging from the way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't do that. I, I overcommitted to the throwing myself in the. Before I push you off to, uh, you know, as a sacrificial offering, um, so that you don't actually get sacrificed, you have this oar. Right. Um, and the way this works is you'll lean out of the front if you get stuck, and you can just draw towards you. Uh huh. Or you can do uh, sculling. Have you ever canoed before? I've kayaked. So it's where you do a figure of eight. Oh, okay. I'll, it, well, I'll work it out. You'll work it out. It's, yeah, it's uh, pretty rudimentary. But anyway, mm-hmm. I wanted to say about the rug that's in there. Yeah, this is a rug um, that's in here. It was made by um, um, an artist called Rachel Matthews um, as part of, well, with, with a, a group of women called the um, Rag School. And it's actually made out of um, clothes that they found that were dumped along the River Roden. Oh, wow. Um, so it's actually been woven together from like from offcuts and from, uh, yeah, discarded clothes found along the river. Right. Um, so it's kind of a work of art in its own right. Amazing. Thank you very much for that. Well, great. Right, Paul, right. This, this is the most hospitality I've been offered. Well, actually, a sauna, a tea. Air, Do you drink whiskey? I, I have been known to drink whiskey. <laughs> it's happened. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a, t- it's only a tiny bottle of Lefroy. Oh. <laughs> it's like the greatest day of my life. <laughs> So we've got some herbs here, I believe. Yeah, yeah, just to give you the uh, olfactory um, sensory experience as well. Yeah, we've got some lavender. Some lavender, some wild um, fennel is dotted about. Yeah. Um, all oh, from wow. the banks of the Rudy. The boards are so slippery. Paul, Paul is bringing me oh, things yeah. to take on my voyage. Look at this. Look, I've got... Paul's giving me grapes and Lefroy. This is incredible. Look at this. It does feel now that we are sending you to your death. But to say, I'm, frankly, I'm happy to be going at this point. <laughs> this is great. Look at this. This is incredible. All right. You ready okay, I'm ready. Off? I'm ready to be cast off. This is, okay. this is it. Um, we offer um, John Rogers to you, the River Roding. Um, I hope you both enjoy each other's company. Thank bon you. Voyage. Thank you very much. This is great. Look. We go. to float on the river roading. Oh, no. 
I jumped a bit too enthusiastically into the coracle head first and kind of smashed my head. I've got a bit of a headache, so I'm gonna I'm gonna partake of some of Paul's Lafroig. This is this is amazing. Because you, what happens is you get drawn into the reeds, and then it just spins you around. You can feel like the only thing powering this boat is the river, is the current, the tide of the river roading. beautiful experience to sit in here just being gently spun around in this coracle it's really stunning it's so peaceful and yeah actually quite a bit you know it's not incredibly quiet because there's the sound of the wind the sound of the rushes I can't believe I'm in a coracle on the river road. <laughs> of course, it's only once in your life you're going to do this. under the bridge. Just need to push off. Hello. Hello! Literally, you catch me just as ah! Because I tried to. I can't believe how quickly you got at this. Oh man, I tell you what, it's been, it's been spinning me around. And now you are absolutely stuck. Now, I don't know if I'm. Do I look absolutely stuck to you? Yeah. Oh, there you go, there you go. Okay. You might have to go all the way around because there's a big bit of wood there when you were getting a uh, oh, big bit of metal. I've made some progress. I'm moving. I'm not 
quite stationary then. I reckon I can get through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, give yourself a good... Uh, that's it. That's it. Am <laughs> <laughs> I not going to fit? I'm too fat. Alright. It's too chunky. Okay. Well, I can, as long as I can face forward for long enough, I can do it the other way. Yeah. You have to go all the way around, I think. Yeah. Oh. Of course, this getting stuck is all part of the. This is all. <laughs> it's all part of the experiment, right? Don't fall in. Oh no, you're you actually literally in. I mean, Are you sure yeah. you've given up trying to? You, you gave up on me, Ryan. Right, look, Ryan is had to get into the roading because he's worried about his coracle. I'm worried about you. No, I'm, I'm fine, I just might be here for the next month. So I've got food, I've got booze. You know, that bit of metal is the problem. If that wasn't there, we could have got under. There's a, it's currently a rescue attempt on going. What the problem is, you see, that we're stuck on this side of the bridge and it's too narrow to get through there and the tide's just taking me back into the river bank. Yeah. Basically, it feels like the river roading doesn't want me as an offering at the moment. <laughs> Stuck oh under a bridge in a coracle. I never thought those were words that I would ever use. Okay, John, you're going to have to paddle ahead. Okay. Paddle, paddle, paddle. The tide's going to bring you back. Paddle like mad. Ah! I'm going back. No, don't take me back. <laughs> You're almost there. shows you the strength of the tide of the roading that we can't escape it. Whenever I try and paddle forward, it just spins me around and sends me, sends me back under the bridge. Man, it's so strong pulling me back. Whoa! Whoa. There's definitely water in the craft. Well, surely the tide will bring me back, won't it? Eventually, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that just won't go as far up the river as we hoped. Okay. They've suggested a ball in the mission. Did we find? I don't think we're there. How much water just came in? Not a huge amount. Not a huge amount. Is there? A... I think it must have come in from outside. Yeah. I don't think yeah, it's coming from like... underneath. You almost tipped over there. Did I? Wow. Yeah. Particularly, particularly, Ryan, if you're pretty confident that time's going to carry me back. Yeah. It's fine. It's just hard to escape it, isn't it? It is. It's really powerful. When you see it here, it doesn't look that strong. It's you just where bad, I just know you were probably pushing me. Yeah, just pad paddling against it. It just won't let you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is, under uh, this bridge at the moment and the tide's still coming in it's very odd so um, Ryan and, and Charlie got in the river to try and push me 
back into the street. It's just so hard. You get to a point when you think you can get clear, you move forward, and then the tide just stops you and then just slowly drags me back under the bridge. So now it's 15 minutes till high tide, so I'm just going to sit here, have a cup of tea, and wait for the tide to carry me back down the river. Which is, this is, I think this is a really educational part of the thing, isn't it, Sean? This is what it's about, right? So, how does it feel for your first? Ride. It's great. It's really good. Even this actually is like a really good, you know, because it's not is just it a gonna, bit like the birthing, you know? birthing pod. Yeah. Uh, yes, maybe. I feel like I'm, I'm going to be reborn after this. Reborn as a river rat. So, maybe it'll lie down in the coracle. It's one minute to high tide. So hopefully, in one minute, I'll be whizzed back down the river roading. But the worry then is, will I miss the moorings? If I miss the mooring, I'm. Well, then I am up a creek with a paddle that won't be any use to me because I won't be able to paddle back up the river against the tide. So what I must do is get to that mooring. Otherwise, I've got a big problem. So we think the tide has turned. Yes. And, the, and the guys are going to give me a push off. In, might go very slow in the vain time. hope they're going to send me in the direction of barking. Barking, here we come. Here we come. Barking or bust. The caracol is too big to fail. Caracol. Wow, it's really, still really raining heavily, isn't it? Guys, I do feel like I'm drifting in the right way. I can say this journey has been a little bit like a metaphor for my life actually. So I, I'm not going to do anything to see what happens, right? Because I think we've realised that paddling against the tide is just a waste of time. It might be a few minutes before you actually have any I don't think the tide has turned, it'll just go back up where I was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank tide has turned. So the tide has turned. I'm free from the bridge but I'm stuck on the riverbank but I just pushed off. I just pushed off with the oar funnily enough and the tide carried me. So it's really inter it's interesting to see the way it works. Literally I just pushed off from the riverbank back there and then suddenly I was floating. So I think, I think I'm back being carried by by the tide of the road. No, ah, but then the wind blows me back under the bridge. Isn't that mad? So that's the wind now, and obviously. So the tide is fighting against the wind. Look at that, that's quite, that is quite strong, isn't it? Yeah, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna bump off that thing with great for impact. We have now entered the zone of considering aborting the yeah. mission because I can't get out of this bridge. The wind just blows me back under it. So I didn't want to abort because it does feel like the tide has turned, but maybe it hasn't. As soon as I get out beneath into the wind, it just blows me under. Ironically, without the, the roof, it would probably be all right. Yeah, I agree. So it wouldn't catch the it wouldn't catch the wind in the same way. So we do have to abandon, unfortunately, because we just can't get out of the bridge. The wind is. Uh, the wind's too strong. It's isn't not it? too strong wind. It's, it's yeah. As soon as they get out from under, as soon as they get out from under the bridge, the wind just blows me under. So, okay. That's all right. Yeah, I swear. I've been reborn. <laughs> I've come back. That's exactly what it looked like. I've it come back. Like, like a baby. I've seen covered. visions. We'll now start the religion of the river roading. God, my legs feel wobbly. 
Yeah. My legs feel really wobbly. Yeah, I'm getting, I haven't got my, my arms on. So Ryan's gonna paddle back. It's interesting for me to see what this looks like because that doesn't look terribly stable, does it? It looks like it's gonna capsize. Yeah. Oh my God. The wind's pretty strong. Look at the, the, this is the, the wind is blowing the coracle strongly against the tide. The tide, I don't know if you can see the, there's things moving in the river that way. The way direction we want to go and look, the coracle's blowing. So that shows you how strong the, the wind is. I think, do you know what? I don't know if you can tell how easy it is to take the roof off, but if the roof wasn't on, you'd be fine. Yeah. Let's see if this works now. This is, this is classic Oracle now. Classic coracle, I should say. There you go, you're away. And there he goes. Off down the road. Here. That's my bridge there. That's the nearest I'm going to get to a flat. That was an incredible experience. Something I will never forget as long as I live. What an amazing thing to do. So actually really peaceful just to be spinning around. And I had a little lay down, a little sleep in there. That got me, I felt a little pang of envy seeing Ryan hurtle off in his open topped coracle. That would have been a little bit more, uh, I don't know, yeah, a bit more precarious, I guess because it is capsizable, that's the thing with that. Um, what an amazing journey, and you know what? N not getting further than the bridge is all part of that experience. Getting stuck like that, that's, that's it. That's, you know, the, the principle is you just abandon yourself to the tide and see where it takes you. And where it took me was under that bridge and getting stuck. But I felt like I had a, a more of an experience of the elements like that than if I had been a more uh, bucolic journey on a hot day which is what we were partly expecting when we arranged it but it was it was incredible it's that idea isn't it about subjecting yourself to fate letting go of control and it was so relaxing to just you know sit in the coracle just lay there and drift I was just doing a little summary but I was just saying yeah I feel great oh, sorry, I, I feel great it was a really that's all right well it's all part of it's all very real Charlie, it's all very authentic. Um, yeah, it felt it felt great. I mean, so you're saying what was great is for me the experience was about letting go and going with yeah. the tide, right? Yeah. That's where the tide took me. Yeah. And maybe it was you know, protecting me. maybe it was protecting me. Maybe it was just keeping me. Maybe it was spitting me out of the river. <laughs> going, you, get, you gave us this offering and we don't want it. <laughs> frankly, <laughs> yeah. Have him, have him back. He's clearly a land person. I'll re-narrativise re that at some point. So hopefully we haven't abandoned Ryan to drift off down the river because he might need help getting out. <laughs> so Ryan, Ryan's arrived. Look, no time. That took about, what, four minutes? It's crazy, isn't it? Well done for getting back. You need, you need help getting uncrafting though, don't you? You need help disembarking. Coracle's about to come out of the water now. Um, Ryan, yes, your thoughts. I've given, my, I've, given, I've given my thoughts on it. How, how, how is it for you? It's very interesting seeing it in very different conditions from how I went out. When I went out, it was a beautiful sunny day, not too much winds. I could just, you know, lie there as I went and came back. But, you know, it's made to be out in nature, which doesn't always do what you want it to. Um, it's you know it's not there for us to have a nice flow up the river um, and yeah today the wind was uh, yeah you know we got a taste of how powerful those those forces are but I think you had a great attitude to it you know you were just like you know whatever happens happens yeah. and if it uh, yeah that's the that's the way to approach it you got to uh, think like a piece of driftwood exactly exactly and I think it's that thing of respecting the river mm. that's, you know the river will do what the river will do mm -hmm. And it also, it's, that's what makes it so relaxing because you just allow yourself to mm. drift, like you give up control. 
yeah. you, know, you know the rest of your life all the time you're trying to get somewhere you've got a schedule you've got a timetable you're worried about the trains are late or there's traffic on the roads or whatever it is whereas this is like yeah yeah no control yeah. as we found out yeah <laughs> well when you took the lid off then you had a bit of control but yeah uh, which was great i mean but the speed the speed in which we both traveled up and down that river was amazing wasn't it mm. it's crazy yeah so fast today yeah as we were saying i think maybe it was uh might be close to a spring tide so there was a lot more water coming up carrying you carrying you up there and the wind was with you on the way up yeah just not the way back well i'm gonna do a little wrap up but where can people find it i'll put a link obviously to your website below this project will carry on won't it you're gonna keep doing coracle journeys yeah yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do some um some moving image work i think yeah. with the coracle um and yeah um, I mean, it's a functional boat as well, so it's nice to come out and just be on the river. Just have a little float on the yeah, river. exactly. <laughs> well, that is that is the conclusion to this uh, video. You do, but you didn't see it. When I say, I don't know what the next video is going to be, and you go, you kind of do, there you go, like this. I knew I was doing this, but it wasn't what you were expecting at all. So there's all sorts of things that we get up to. And I think now we've done this, who knows what, no, I mean, surely I've got to go up in the air next in a balloon. Don't. Don't get in touch with me and say how about a balloon ride right? because that's the kind of thing that can happen. This <laughs> was, a, balloon. yeah, this was a social media. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to happen to make shift balloon. Homemade plane. Thank you for coming and tolerating that with me. I know it's not what you come to the channel for. It wasn't a walk. It was a float. It was a drift. It was a river roading extravaganza. It was a river roading odyssey. Is that what we will call it? A river roading odyssey. It's going to be called up up the river roading on a coracle with a paddle. Look forward to the next walk, wherever that may be. And also, massive thanks to Sean James Cameron. Go and check out Sean's channel, because it's really, really wonderful. I watch it. I probably watch Sean as much as I watch any other channel. There you go. Look, there he is. There's, <laughs> there's Sean. Who knows what his channel will be Sean. called, though, by the time you come to watch this video. He may have changed it again. might be called Sean's... Going up the river road in yeah. John Rogers. Yeah, Sean, <laughs> Sean's River Journeys. And check out Sean's video about it. It will have all the unflattering stuff of me that I don't want to put in a video. So. Mm.